in here. And what we're looking for, let me bring this over here too. Got some chips in my mouth there. What we're looking for is this kind of a thing, this muscle here, which is a dent in here. So something like this. Now this one's going to be a little more smoother here. And so there's going to be kind of, this is going to come out and then kind of dent in and just come out a little bit. Same with here. It's a little bit in. Not like a V, to almost like a V, but of course there's more here, down, and just a little bit, as it is showing here. A lot of this, down, and then kind of comes up. And then there's this little, and, and there is a little, kind of, a little bit of this going on. That's so what we want to focus on that. And also bearing in mind that we, she does have a top, sort of a bikini top. I'm not going to do the same as this where I have the, um, you can put that in there, the, the clams or something. I'm just having, and you could put any kind of maybe seaweed or something, kind of a, a top. I mean, I'm doing this kind of generic so you can choose whatever you want. So again, what's going to happen is that first we got this going. And like I said, it does come up. And it comes down. And then we do got to keep in mind that kind of a, a bikini top. And the bottom. So the bikini kind of goes up, and then it comes down, it goes up, and then there. Now we could have it, um, I might want to leave it alone, like I did here, is that there's no strap, there's no strap up. So they kind of leave that bare, and I want to choose to do that because that's one less. So we could change this to going down like this. And this kind of coming up like that. Maybe less of this. And then it comes up and it's going to come down here and it's going to come around here. Yeah, that's going to be <clears throat> quite a bit of shaping going on there. I think the router didn't get that as well as I wanted it to. <clears throat> and we can shrink this to fit that. That's one of the things, the philosophy I say when you're like you're doing the hands is a good example or foot foot is another example, is that you, if you're gonna get, when you got two, is you look at the one that's the smallest, and you, you, f you do the smallest one and get it perfect, and then make the bigger one look like the first one. I think, does that look all right? Well, what the heck? There. That's the bad thing about close-up. All right, let's do that again. Yeah, because this one we're going to make right. This one, she's got a little too much. Again, this way. So make sure we got that right, like that. And then, like this. This is as far as I can with the light. Okay.
But again, we're, we're going to have a little bit of this going in there. Even though, I mean, we can get away with quite a bit. Oops, let me come down and this comes up like this. So it'll be a little bit of smoothness. Or if we want to, we'll, we'll smooth it a little bit. And then, and then we'll, let's see, how does this go here? We'll smooth it a little bit because we still want that strap to come is, is out. So let's start with our V. Where is our V? Right here. And I'm going to cut that all out. I'm going to bring that out, all of it. And again, I want to, well, this is, you can do a straight V, straight up and down. Where are you? Well, good. Still in. In and around. Oops, I can't get in there. Underneath, over here. Underneath. Now this is going to... More than likely, the bottom part is going to be shaved off a little bit. Now we're starting. Okay, start shaping. I'm going to do just a little bit of this. Start it. They're getting that going. This one is just barely. But I want to put a little bit in there just to see. We did, and we'll have to move from there. Okay, first thing I want to do is to fix this part here. It is a little round. Gonna, the thing is, is there is a rib in there. While we're on this part, I want to see if we can put that in. Maybe not right now. I mean, we got it started. There is a rib. Like right there, the rib cage. It's about there-ish. And I want to take... Just to put it in to remind me, so I don't get, to, again, don't get hacky-wacky and forget all about it. I'll take a small round tool. Just put a, just a sliver in there. Oops. Now, I'm not sure I got the rib comes up to, no, it does come up to about here-ish. I want to take my knife. Where's my good knife? Well, they're both good knives. It's just thinner knife, which is my... I just want to put that in there. I, it might be... I mean, well, it might be okay. I might be done. Oops. I buried the tip. And then this is going to come around in a little bit too. But at least let's put that in there for now. Because it is, it's very, it's more wider. Um, let me just cinch it around it. 
it's just I want to make sure that that's in there because that does add the rib cage. All right, we'll come back to that later because there's too much shadow. I don't want enough. I just want a hint. There's this too much shadow in there, but that's for us to come back on. And it depends on how much that's going to go away when we do the profile. But I just want to get this started here. Okay. Now, in order to shape, like I said, I want to start with this one. in there where that that little muscle is for now but this is the part I'm a little nervous about I think that the the um, got in there that I always call it the drill bit it's not the drill bit it's the router bit I mean still she still's got quite enough personality as it were and I still want this to turn a little bit yeah because that's not too bad I do one of the things that I've done is uh, this one I put that in there make that a little sharper is I've when I've done nudes before the problem was is I would get done with this area and then I think well like like what, what we have here is oh I need to push that down more and then what happens is then the boobs come way out and then it's all done and of course they, they teach you you know you, you don't want to you want to carve a little here a little there because when you perfect one piece and then you go back to another and Oh my goodness, you got you, you got you end up gonna get rid of. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of this off. I'm trying to match that. keep that in mind uh, even like that so to you would be like this that's what I like to do is hold and get a little bit of that while I'm here get a little of that out of there anyways and of course there's be more shaping later and I still want to put a little bit of I think this is the wider one so that's so it's gonna be wider Just a little bit of that. Just a little bit. And I can still see that is still bigger than the other one. Getting there, but more shaping later, of course. How does this go back? Oops, get your thumb out of the way. And you can't get the. See, this has got to come. Got to get rid of some of this.
Okay, so I, by shaping this, I, I end up and took out that Z cut I had. Now let me take, make sure all of that is off. It's still, I might need to be more shaping later, but I want to keep, I want to move on. I think it's like getting there in the realm of getting there. Now, so let me put this back in that got took off. Where is my there? It is V tool. Let's get this in there. Okay, so the bottom, you know what it does? Let me get a bigger. This will have to start, I'm starting to bother me here. This is as much as this is a nine. Uh, what would that be about 10 ish mil? Like I said, we just barely want a hint of that rib, and it is starting to bug me as I keep looking at it. Yeah, it's getting a little better. I think, uh, I think the knife will fix that, but again, I want to move on, and that doesn't bother me as much because, yeah, that looks a lot better. Well. We'll come back to that. Same with the stomach muscles. We'll come back to all of that. So, oh, where's my pencil? I better pencil this in before I got to remind myself it comes down like this and goes up like this. Is that how I have it? It comes actually like this and then comes down like this. Get some V in there because we had to take quite a bit off. Careful, I don't take much of that off. Okay, now let's get to the top. Now that take some take some of this off of here. Okay. Now it's time for the top. What we're going to do is right here is going to be a sort of not too sh not too hard, but then when you get to here, a little harder, a little harder, because that is going to go deep and then come back up and not so hard. Now comes the fun part. What kind of tools can we use to start getting that out? Well, start with the knife. I think the knife will do okay as long as it's got a nice point, nice tip. And that's going to come sharper down. And that's going to come sharper back up. And you want to keep this smooth and on uninterrupted cuts if you can. Now I'm going to start with this. It's a little flat and it turns like that. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that where it turns like that. Get that elbow out of there, shoulder out of there. Same with here, turns here. Up here. Oops, a little turns okay I think there might be a little more to it but again it comes with the detail or comes when you come back and doing the pickup of the piece of the little pickings because now I'm going to work with this a little bit because this is part of it. As long as you got to make sure this turns, it's a little high here and it turns. Ah, I always hate that. The snap. I'm trying to make a good cut. 
Now I'll start kind of working, working with the neck a little bit because it comes with it. Taking the harder part, the bigger parts out. Yeah, she's starting to get there. Now a little bit more here. Where's my V? Where did I put my V? But I'll put the V, a little bit of V. But V is not good. And then just to get it started, where is my this is probably still not as well. That's my number nine, that three mil. Where is my, that one that I used it to, on the hair? Where did he go? Where did he, oh, there he is. Number nine, about three-ish. I just want to make sure that gets put in there. Because we'll come back. You see how that starting to kind of come up like that? All right, now for the big, the magic moment is right here. See, remember he's kind of just twisted here, still kind of coming down here, okay, like that. Now, it depends on how you want to do this. Now, my 1 million BC, what I did was I bunched it together by going like this. And you can do that if you want. And see, something like that. Now you just round it. Put my little nine again. And you turn it again. You got to do the scooping, separating and scooping at the same time. Separate and scoop at the same time. Oops, I got a little. She got a scar there. Now you could do this if you want to keep it like this. We might do that or separate it just a little bit. We'll separate it just a little bit so I don't copy too much of one. And just enough with the knife there, because after that, I'll oh, get around this a little bit more again. And don't forget to don't take the scoop out. And just like when we do the eyeballs, we just round it out. And really come up because like I said this is the 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 bad anomaly of all of this is that the head should have been a little higher up but it's still good now like I said we did use our round tool tiny round tool number nine about three make sure it's on the right direction and then as we go then we go a little wider We may, do, may need to do a little more roundness, which is good because when we do that, it, it'll stretch this part a little more. Separate and round at the same time. Now, the other thing I am noticing, let's go at this angle, is this here. I don't want to cut too much because then we got to re-round. And get in there. Because we want to round this way. Let me think it's so we got to round this way. And round it this way. So we got that chip in there. Shape this 
a little more. Oops, oops. Now there's still a little bit of boogers in there, and I want to make sure this comes in like this. Now there's a scoop big here, like that. And this is going to be a little deeper here. So she's getting there. Same with this side. Turn into that extra there. And this turns down. And I think I'll be needing a, a round tool. Let me get this piece out of there. Get that out of there. I want to shape this a little more around here. I mean, I want the round tool to round or originally started, but let me get some of this off. And do we want the round tool? Where is it? That help some of it. That'll help some of it. There we go. That'll help some of it. What about over here? There we go. Then I need to shape the arm a little bit more. Now the character that I got in the printout here that on uh, my dad's, she is quite muscular, but I don't want her to be muscular. I mean, if you want to, because she's got to survive under the water there. And so what I want to do is I want to stop here and go shape this a little more. Like I said, I'll just have to come back and shape later. But I want to come back and oh, I was going to say do the iron, but I forgot. We got to do the profile. So right now, how she looks is not too shabby. Now I'm I'm confident about um, that uh, we have to, to change the top part. We won't. Because when she's sitting on the rock, the one of the things I tried to create here, and I'm going to try to create more, is that she is sitting on the rock. And, and this is going to be more forward, quite a bit forward. Because if it's if she's straight up, she would be falling back. Because she's got to have some counterweight here. And that counterweight is going to disappear. But what we have. So what I got, let's see how much, speaking of butt. Where's the worst part? Where's the biggest? Oops. Where's the biggest part? It's right here. But I have a feeling it's going to be. Well, let's see what happens. From here to here. Oh, it's not bad. So, all I'm going to do is kind of round this a little bit. Again, we just come back in detail later. But what's going to happen first, I want to shape the bum. A little bit and it's going to go way in and what's going to have happen is this here is going to happen right here this hole because we're going to get in there the arm's going to be much more thinner so i just want to shape get that started it'll be finished off more like i said make it nice and round here very nice and round and out is that when we do the arm is it will really finish that off get that hole out and I just want to get started here just don't take too much of that arm off now you could stop and, and get your drill which would probably be best but you got to really be careful I'm going to just leave that like that well here let's take can take chunks out here we don't have to leave the chunks that, that 
don't matter. And I believe we're seeing daylight already. You know, well, that's really punky right now. I don't care that it's too punky. We'll come back to it because I got... And remember, there's the hair is there. So, yeah, right here is hair. And leave that alone. There's the... Well, got that up there. Now, I still want to come this way out because that bum is way out there. That back tail for counterbalance. And I'm just going to do just a little bit of cleaning. But it is, we are going to way arc this. This is going to be so arced. So very arced. So very, very arc, but most of that is going to end up in the hair. But as long as we got this going, there we go. Again, a little more because that's going to be the hair there. Now that I got a little more room, I could clean it out better. And the bum is going to come up here, the back tail. So, here's what we're going to do. Let's get our V out again. I'm going to work on this for a while. And remember, I'll pencil it in. It's going to disappear. But here is the flat side. Here is, I don't have it, the, the back. So, say the back of this. Yeah, let's see if this, is, if this will be better here. Yes, yeah, see, well, I didn't do a good job of, see, this is where the tail, the butt and the tail is going to go in the same direction. See, there's the tail. So we want to shape that, keep that in mind while we round this and not forget that. This is the square part. Where is my V tool? I just want to get kind of started just a little bit here because that is the farthest back of the bunch of all of this. I want to take my V into that. I hate to do that because that will not, might hurt my V. Now, the same with the hair. Now we're going to, like I said, we have to come back with the hair. At least we got the major part of the hair started. We're actually virtually completed okay so when my first I gonna get a little water and it's water now I'm not, not, not a little special brew or anything like that. <clears throat> so this is going to be round a little bit. Got my heavier knife. And it's going to come in right here. Oh, excuse me. Let me pick some of that up. Because, yeah, it's going to be rounded here. Well, there's quite a bit of rounding. I have to come, I'm going to come back to the front again. have that. Now I do want to put a nice sharp, sharp 
because that back side is going to go in. Oh, I hate that scraping. Don't you hate that scraping sound? You're trying to cut and it snaps on you like that. This is way in, almost to the point where it almost looks like this is two separate pieces at this angle. It's gonna go in sharply here. And again, this is the flat, flattish part, as it were. In other words, it keeps going this way, and it's here until it starts going that way. And again, we'll have to do it when we get into more details. Now, the more I snapped, I need more, more of this. Now that the hair too long, it still gives you the impression that she's got a wide profile. Now I need a little bit of smoothing, but still we got to turn here. Get some of this out. See, it's kind of interesting as we're working with one, get started with another. Not started, but at least help. Because I want Come around and we'll do this. We'll get more of this when we get into the hand. The hand. I'd like to get that out of there, but he's just not cooperating. Don't we have this cleaned out? I thought we had this cleaned out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, except we're looking at the back. See the back? She's really, I think maybe just a little more roundness here. Just a little bit, a little bit. But we want that back as far because she is, oh, jeez, don't do that. When you pry, you might break your tip. Now, since this is, like I said, this is, if I turn it, I'm turning it for me. Like it's forward. So in other words, this should be the back is looking directly at me. Tells me I need a little more right here. Maybe just a little more here. And a little bit here. I guess I make it almost like it looks like it's a like a separate piece. Now it may kind of look like her bum is too much out. Well, we can adjust again. It's in the realm of extra lumber. I think we just round it a little bit. I think oh, right here will help. There we go. That's a little better. That's better. Maybe just a little bit here. Okay, let me cut a little bit of this out since we're kind of, here we are, in that area. There. Okay, are we ready to move on? So the next thing, I want to do the arms now. 
because uh, when I get to the face, I want everything everything to be done. Again, there's a little more, but I shouldn't I shouldn't waste my time right now with this because I'll come back later and getting all of this. This is all picking work here now, so I'll stop. Arms is next. Now, as I have said, her arm is a little, her arm's a little beefy, but we'll take just a little, we don't use all of that. You can if you want, but. Okay, so what I want to do is since I, I've cleaned this all up here, and what I want to do is I want to change knives. We'll come back to that. Now, we're going to go, we're going to do the front. We're going to start with this one. Front, side. Now, um, what would be best to do starting with what to what? Okay, let's do the side. Now, I think everything else is, I believe, right. Um, I want... Perhaps the hand to come. Well, let's see. Measurements first and decide as we go. This is the widest part is right here. But, like I said, I'm not going to use all of her muscles. But it's always good to start. Big and get small. Now, I don't, I feel good with the arms in front do i i think i do the arm in front so i want to shrink this and like i said it's going to go to the go to the hair the hair is imperfect and then where is the shoulder or the elbow and it kind of comes in to the elbow and it comes in to the elbow down and in and at the oh boy Can you see? I'm trying to balance it with myself. Take that away. Forearm. Oh my goodness, the forearm. You start about at the elbow and you just make it thinner and thinner. See, I want a little bit of meat here. And then it turns. Same here, just a little bit of bulge. And then turn. Now I want to be careful because the arm is more... See, it's not uh, left and right. It's more a little bit forward this way. So I'm going to keep mindful of that. Because when we turn, I don't want to take too much off. I'm trying to make it look good one way and going to pour the other way. So let's take a nice piece off here. Okay. See, if we go in the right direction, it'll get to a point where, you know, it's still a little too big, but we'll, but as long as, actually it goes this way a little more. So I'll cut this off. I'm going to get that out of there. Because it is going to turn this way. Now wait till we get to the front. Holy smokes, there's a lot of, a lot of meat in there.
Alright. Um, it can I'm not, I'm okay. It can go it can get some adjusting later, but I'm not kinda okay-ish for the sake of keep keep moving. And so we're gonna go this way. Here comes the fun part. Now it depends on where we want it to stop. Because I'm a little concerned as to where the hand is going to be. So I think what I want to do is I want to put this in first. Okay. And I want to put this in next. Just a little bit of Okay. So the outside is good. So we're going to go from outside to inside. And this is, that's about right, a little more. So from here to here. So it's going to be about here. It's kind of difficult showing you. I'm trying to hold it against my belly. So this is where it separates from the body. Yeah, just almost as I got it in there like that. Now I would like to take the knife first because I want to hopefully get on the edge first and then maybe if I have to use a round tool because I want to go kind of straight down and again we got hair there right so that's one good thing about having the hair there is it does cover up if if we do goof up on the dimensions Right, where's my little round tool? Let's get that out of there. How do we get in there? There's where we go. Now it does still seem if I go this way, yeah, there's still there's still some thickness to have to worry about because because actually it's supposed to be like right about here that still might be a little too thick but let me get my feet to it I'm going to do a little bit of gouging first here in this area here So I can easily take the knife. So you're measuring it in. Now it's still a little bit of the body dimensions. That's one of the things, it's kind of interesting how if you ever did things a certain way and then you take a class from say a character carver of America kind of a thing and, and he says something that you've been doing all this time it's kind of interesting and he says first of all you make these limbs round like cylinders, we're kind of doing something like that, a little bit of dimension, and then come back later and do the muscle tone. So it's kind of what we're doing, maybe a little bit of muscle tone at the same time. Two birds with the same, same time, kind of round to this. Uh, 
rounding, rounding, smoothing and rounding, and I can see, holy smokes, there's got another layer, another round of thinning this, I think, round, this needs to come in, with that little forearm meat. Oops. So we're getting there. I mean, she, again, she could be muscular, if you wish. And I'm almost thinking I'm leaving that because we can always come back. If it's too round, I can do this. Okay, where's my little round? stand on its own if you decide to leave it. Uh, there's still some more shaping later on here. I'm going to shape because I forgot to round this here. A little bit of roundness. And also cleaning up. On the elbow again if we get if you can get at least to this point right now you can always come back and always come back later I'm gonna get that elbow in there first oh this is could be tr trimmed a little bit Okay. I still see some marks here. Let me get some. This is bothering me. All right. Let's get to the hand. But first. The thirst. I really am dry today. Wow. <sighs> okay, now the hand. I want to first shape. Let's just get the thumb. Others from here to here. So I want to take, yeah, I want to take those off first. Take with a V. Help me with that. Yeah, so it's getting the my bearings, my bearings in. Tool. Now it is going to take get us back to the rock here. I'm aiming to get back to the rock. Now it's a good thing about this. The hands of this project is, is the fingers are on something. So there is the support. Oh, here I this cut. Need to round this a bit. And my 
and look, we're right back to where we started from when we were doing this. And again, picking later. But I don't want to have to pick at the rock when after the fingers are done. And I have to pick at the rock some more and snap that knife and just a little bit more here down. Across there, yeah. All right, now we got things started. The hand, we we'll take some of this hand off because our hand is going to be relatively flat. Let's take this out again with my V to fix that there we go and I do want to take we still got some of the fur around there I want to get rid of that okay her hand after I fix the wrist here The thumb is sep pretty well separated. Now, according to my picture here, it's way separated, but I don't, I'm more of a regular straight. Now, those fingers are going to go like this, so therefore, that's straight like this. Like this, like that, and the pinky we're going to have to adjust. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's we'll start here, here. Take that out, out of there. Again, straighten out the rock. And when you come this way, careful we don't take that thumb out of there. Now I want to put, I want to kind of shape the thumb a little bit here by doing this. Now the thumb usually, of course, is lower than the rest of the hand, but since it's on a rock, it's about the same, but we still want to lower it a bit. I can't go this way because it's with the grain, and I'm going to end up, there we go. Ah, uh, shoot, did I take some of the thumb off? I did. Uh, to fix that, but it is a little bit lower. Shoot. I'm going to start with the center. Here. Here. And then this is going to be the shape like that. There. Now here's what we want to be, be careful of when we do, where's my knife, is I just want to take a little bit of a V to, in other words, separate the hands. Separate. Because be careful, you don't go too deep or too wide because you don't want to break those fingers off.
Okay, now we got the index, middle. Now the ring finger here should be, is actually the second longest finger, and it is on mine. And that pinky goes quite a bit down. And since we got enough material, I was thinking about widening that pinky a little bit. Careful. It's about widening that pinky. Not widening the pinky, but widening the, the hand. Yeah, I did take a hunk off that thumb. Let's see if a little bit of recovery. I mean, I think we can make it look decent. Almost to the point as if it never happened. Take that little roundness here. And the thing about the thumb is we want to hook, hook that thumb just a little bit. There. And boy, there is quite a bit of cleaning up to do. Let's take a round tool just to take the crap out of there and come back later. Little knuckles in there. All right, that's it. That forefinger still has pencil mark. I think a little bit of fur. Now, be too, I'm not liking that pinky. It's still, it's still wide. The pinky does come down, come back a little bit more. Then what I want to do is straighten up. First straighten up this. And what I want to do is one of these very carefully. Is it? is to turn this and then come back down like this and do that and then I think I want to this is a little bit like this thing here like this there and that and one last major detail is around those tips. Around those tips. Not bad. So we will have to come back later. Oh goodness in there. Look at that. Will the V help us? I think I need the smaller V. More picking and detailing back there going on. bit of round two. Where's my number 11.5 mil? A little bit right here just to take that 
Take that off in there. A little bit of cleaning in the wrong direction. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. For right now, that's probably quite a bit, but it's. There's the arm so far. Or not so far, but that arm.